Coming through with a message from Spirit. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I mess around, I turn these videos on, and I have no idea what I'm gonna talk about. I have no idea what I'm gonna say. I have no idea. And it's like when I try to come up with ideas, it don't work like that. It just has to flow. It just has to, you know, come from my intuition. It just has to come from a space where I just trust the words and the message because whatever it is, is needed, right? And I'm feeling like harmony wants to be discussed today, right? Balance harmony uh, a lot of times we're seeking to have balance in our lives we say oh um you know i just if i had more time right and if i had more money if i had more of this then i could do this or whatever the case is right But when you honor the moment of now, when you sit in the moment of now and you allow yourself to connect with your inner voice, right? You will be guided to exactly where you need to go, what you need to do, the action that needs to be taken, whatever it is. And that in itself leads you to harmony. There's no blueprint for everyone's life. Like you have these programs that's online, these courses, which I honor it because, you know, I think that we do need to allow um, people to choose their education, to choose how they want to be educated instead of being forced to succumb to a system who wants us to be taught in a certain way so that we can be worker bees for a certain system so we can, you know, be be a certain way, the way they want us to be and deny what our inner guru is guiding us to do or to receive or the, the teacher that we're guided. Because a lot of times the teachers that um, we really need are not found in the classroom. They're not found in a traditional space, right? And so uh, we have to allow the room for I hear like duality to exist because in this physical plane, duality exists, right? You could deny it all you want to. But if there is this, I promise you there is the opposite, okay? So if you rise up and protest against one thing, best believe the equal and opposite is going to rise up with you. And y'all are just going to be... Until you learn to communicate with your inner guru, with your highest version of yourself, right? Because the highest version of yourself sees all, all of these, all these possibilities, right? All of the possibilities of your decisions and where each decision leads. And you have this information, access to this information. Your DNA is connected to the universe, the whole universe, okay? You have the universe within you, except all of the messaging is not unlocked. Different messaging gets unlocked for different people depending on their environment, depending on what they're uh, drawn to the most, their ancestry, you know, what has been in practice more. Things like that, that things like that determine what messaging gets unlocked, right? And so you have all these u u unique forms of the same DNA, the same universe. Like we're all 
there's no re, there's no division. We're all one. But the illusion is that we're divided. The illusion is that we're separate. The illusion is that we have we're of different races and things of that nature. Okay. On different levels, depending on what level you are, that's where that separation exists. But when you go the higher you go, the more things come together in harmony because the more natural it is, right? Uh, when you're operating out of illusions, you're moving further away. Excuse me. You're moving further away. That was good. From yourself. You're moving further away from who you are. You're moving further away from harmony, right? But when you tap into your intuition, your inner guru, it guides you and it guides you based off of the information that it knows exists right so you can't go wrong following your intuition right when you're sitting here if you're sitting in a place where you're stuck you're unhappy you're worried about you know if if you have enough money or time or whatever to do anything right just sit actually rebel against that right um time we say we don't have enough time in a day right but the thing is how is that some people have so much time it seems like they get so much more done and we all have the same amount of time right even though when we go higher time is you realize time is just a construct is what we need to um operate you know, in the material in this way. Um, it's how we, we see things linear. That's a whole nother story. But if you say you don't have enough time. This morning, I sat here. And I just I focused on love. For, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes straight. I just sat here. And I kept focusing on love. And my mind, every now and again, it would drift. It would drift. And I would bring it back to love. And I would just focus on love. And you know what that does? Going inside, focusing on the inner voice, focusing on your your just the idea of love. Just focusing on that. That raises the frequency of your thoughts. That raises the frequency of your concerns. Because what you're doing is you have these thoughts that are coming up in your meditation, right? But because you're focusing on love, those thoughts come up and what they they converge, they hit love. And so what is that? It raises it up, right? It raises the vibration of that thought. And so then when you get that thought next time, it's going to be it's it's going to be more expanded, more you're going to be more aware, you're going to have more information, you're going to have more clarity, you're going to have more connectivity to it. Because your messaging gets unlocked and it comes by way of higher frequencies, by love, right? And if you can honor your inner voice, your inner makeup, being able to just be and sit with it, it is so powerful, okay? Um... Ananda Mai, I believe I'm saying it right, she was a, a, a guru and she had no education outside of like the small education that she had. Um, I think, I can't even remember how many years, but it wasn't much, right? But yet she was more expansive and more knowledgeable about our existence and who our evolution who we actually are and she was able to help bring others to themselves and help uh other traditions exist without feeling like she needed she didn't need to be in one religion in order to like different religious sects came to her for guidance because she was expanded in her knowledge she didn't she didn't have things just 
one way. It has to be this way. It has to be this way, right? She she taught with her heart. She led with her heart. And she tuned into her inner voice. She did not need all of the moving parts of the system, okay? She didn't need all of that, right? She needed her own inner guidance. And she honored her authentic self, right? And that's what the message is for you today is to, if you're seeking harmony in your life, right, don't seek balance. Don't try to get balance. It's like you're on your feet and you're like, oh, I need to get balanced. And you're trying to, and it's almost like you're falling. You're making it worse because you're trying to be balanced. You ever been on a, um, walking on a, a tightrope and if you, when you start like trying to balance, that's when you get thrown off. But when you're like focused on what it is that you need to be focused on, you're in alignment, right? You're not thinking about being balanced. You're just walking on this line and you're focused on the line. You don't look down. You don't look up. You don't look to the left or right. No, you, you're looking at that line. This is all I'm focused on, right? Your line is your divine line. Your line is your intuition. Your line is your inner guru. When you focus on that line, you are imbalanced automatically. Everything else falls into place, baby. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Even when it looks like it's not, chaos sometimes ensues. So that things can get back in order, right? Because things have been moved out of order. But they come, they always come back in order because the truth is always happening. So we're always experiencing what we need to experience. And it's all happening right now. And if you just honor, honor your inner voice and learn, give your inner voice time to just be. Y'all sit with each other and just be with each other. Try it. 15 minutes a day, right? And under my, she, she talked about that. Like, just 15 minutes a day. That's why I brought her, like, she's just that. Not just do that. 15 minutes. Honor your inner voice. Don't think about nothing. Thoughts come in. They try to come in. Don't even worry about it. Let it flow. You might think, oh, I don't want to miss out on the idea. I don't want to miss out on this. I don't want to miss it. And you you start thinking and you start like, oh, because they do come. Ideas do come, right? But they ain't going nowhere. They're out there. They're out here in the ethers and they're ready to be, you know, tuned into at any moment, right? <laughs> you know, um, just let yourself be. Keep focusing on love. Just for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And see how that raises your feeling, your vibration, your emotional state. How much more tuned in you become. It's been scientifically proven that meditation helps your brain to focus more. It helps improves so many different things. We're not even going to get into the science of that. That's easily, you could look stuff like that up, right? But when you get away from it, you feel it, right? You feel the difference. And I've gone away from it. I've come back to it. I've gone away from it. I've come back to it. But I always, like, I do it in different forms. I do, like, writing meditations, things like that. There's so many different things you can do to meditate, right? But there's something powerful about sitting for just, like I said, like 15 minutes. Set your timer so you don't keep thinking about the time. And just be here. And just focus on love. Focus on gratitude, right? Just focus on those, those positive feelings. And when you get a thought, just... Psh, bring your focus back to love if you have to visualize the word love or visualize hearts or you have to whatever you have to do if you need to count down or 
you know, in your mind, you need to see or you need to, like, uh, have smells that make you feel good. Whatever it is, just do it for just 15 minutes and try it. And just see. Just see. And as an overthinker, trust me. <laughs> Being able to sit... Being able to just sit is powerful. So, um, I, that's my challenge for you. All right? So, peace out. I send you my deepest love. Yeah. 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 Yeah.